Hey guys, my name is Kev and today we are going to be um, talking about emulation again and we're going to be doing it with Super Nintendo games on the Steam Deck. So to get started, we're going to jump right into desktop mode and you're going to want to go to the Discover Store. Now, I don't always recommend the Discover Store, but actually I really like this emulator. This emulator also works on Windows. It's a really easy emulator to use. You just have to set it up. You're going to go in there and you're going to actually download the application SNES 9X. That's the emulator we're going to use here. This is the emulator I prefer to use uh, for Super Nintendo. And you're going to go ahead, you'll open that guy up. <clears throat> or excuse me, you'll download that guy. And you're also going to need Steam ROM Manager. So you'll need to download both of those guys. And as you'll, you already saw on my desktop, I already have Steam ROM Manager. But I want to show you guys um, that it is in the Discover Store, if I can type today correctly. There we go. And then Steam ROM Manager. So... <clears throat> And then the first thing, you know, and then of course you're also going to need your ROMs. So first thing you're going to want to do, close Steam. Just start it out, out the gate, close Steam. Don't even uh, fool around with it. And then we're actually going to open up SNES 9X. And we'll just go ahead and launch that guy. And really for the most part, you just want to make sure that it works when you pull it up here. Um, you are going to also, if you need to set up any um, changes here, you set up your joypad there, you can go into preferences, and you can go in, you can make sure that you know your sound is on, you want that sound on, um, make sure you have your display, your software scaling, however you want to set that up. Um, for the most part here, you're not really going to mess with much. To set up your controls, you want to go onto the joystick screen in the preferences. Now, this one is very particular. If you don't have Steam open, it will not work in desktop mode to set it up. But once you have it set up in desktop mode, it's pretty easy. All you'll do is just click on whatever control you want. So like say here, I click on the, I want to go up. And you literally just hit up on the D-pad. And you do that with all the corresponding buttons. Again, I already have it set up, so I don't really want to change anything. Um, but once you have that set up, the controls are a breeze. And that's the only thing in here you should really have to change. Um, you can create some shortcuts if you want to, but we're not going to fool around with any of this because this stuff isn't necessary unless you want to deal with like save states and things like that. But I don't deal with that too much on emulators and at least not on the Steam Deck, I should say. Close that up. Everything is working great. You'll also need to know where your ROMs are <clears throat> because if you don't know where your ROMs are, um, you won't be able to set up everything in Steam ROM Manager. The Steam ROM Manager, when you set this up, it's a little bit complicated. It's a little bit convoluted because there isn't a um, normal preset for this guy. So if you go in through Steam ROM Manager, most of the time you'll just pick a preset and you'll go from there. But there isn't one for the um, SNES 9X, if you look through here, um, Flatpak. They all go through RetroArc. So if you see here, you have the right. So what we're going to do here. We're just going to use the SNES 9X non-flat pack um, preset, and that'll do a lot of the work here. Now, you're going to also, you can set your category. You can change your configuration title to whatever you want to. That doesn't matter. Steam directory, you're going to go in, and my Steam directory, I go to home, and then I go to um, Steam, and then I click Steam again. And this is where my Steam lives, so I will click there for Steam. Hey guys, editing Kev. Um, I, ca I caught myself while I was editing, I made an error in the original video that I knew and I tried to keep myself from doing it, but anyway, anyway, lo and behold. When you set the path to your ROMs, SNES 9X cannot see your SD card. It is one of the few emulators that I deal with where that is the case. So what you have to do because of that, you have to save your SNES ROMs directly on the Steam Deck. So when you're going to your path to your ROMs, don't save it on an SD card because the emulator won't see it. Put the ROMs on the Steam Deck wherever you choose to put them. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure you point to them in the, um, in the Steam ROM Manager when you go to your ROM directory. And other than that, follow the rest of the video. It should be good. I just caught that particular error, wanted to fix it. Go ROMs, 
And then I'm gonna scroll down to the uh, SNES. And this is where all my SNES ROMs are. I'll select that folder as well. And then you're gonna select your uh, executable. Now from here, cause I don't wanna save this. I'm not gonna save this because um, I already have it set up. I'm going to pause here for a second. I want you guys to be able to copy my settings here. Um, and the reason why is the from the rest of this video on down, most of this, since you were using the flat pack, should be exactly the same. Really, the main things you want to make sure that are right or that um, you have to do manually and that can really be messed up from here is one, not getting the commands in correctly. And two, just make sure you have your Steam directory in there correct and make sure you have your ROM directory in there correctly. So from there, I'm just going to go to my settings for this um, Super Nintendo. As you see here, like I said before, it's all basically the same. And the executable is going to be slash USR slash bin slash flat pack. And a flat pack with a K, there is no C there. That'll get your executable. That will uh, execute the, um, which call it, the emulator. And then you're going to need to run this command line argument. Now, this command line argument, you're going to have to type it in manually exactly how I have it on screen. Run space com dot SNES9X, the S here is lowercase, period, capital S, NES9X, space, quotation, dollar sign, bracket, file path, the P in path is capitalized, right bracket, quotation mark. That is important or it'll only launch the emulator and it won't actually launch your game and you'll beat your head on it. It'll be very frustrating. So make sure you get that right. The executable modifier, uh, I believe this comes preset there, but if it doesn't, it's quotation, dollar sign, bracket, exe, path, um, bracket, uh, quotation mark, make sure the P and path is capitalized. <clears throat> and the, the user glob, leave that exactly how it is. You shouldn't have to change anything there. You shouldn't have to change anything else actually in this guy at all. And then you're just going to save it. I've already had my save, so I'm not gonna mess with it. And if you test the parser, it should tell you, hey, I have this many games here, and it should show you a list of all of your games. Perfect. We're cooking with fire. Now we're gonna go into preview, and we're gonna click generate app list. Now again, I'm not gonna change this because mine's already set up. So I don't wanna break mine, but I wanna show you guys how to do it too. Steam ROM Manager is incredible, and I'm, I'm surprised at how many tutorials don't cover Steam ROM Manager, because Steam ROM Manager is awesome. Now. One thing you'll see here, because as you can see on the left, I have multiple emulators set up. And it's just, in because they're all in the same Steam home directory, it's going to show every game that I have that's emulated. So you're going to have to scroll down a bit. And you do see the doubles, because I have Yuzu and Ryujinx, because some emulators, or some games work better with one emulator or the other. So we're just going to keep scrolling down. And eventually we're going to get down here. Here we go. We're closer to the bottom now. You see here we have our Donkey Kong Country. We have Donkey Kong Country 2, the original Killer Instinct, Kirby um, Superstar, Kirby Dream Course, Kirby's Dream Land 3, A Link to the Past, the Mortal Kombat Trilogy, gotta have the Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Um, though I may, I might actually switch out Mortal Kombat 1 for the Genesis version, haven't decided. Um, Secret of Mana, Bart Simpson's Nightmare, all the classics, Spider-Man and the X-Men, Star Fox, um, Mario All-Star, Star Fox 2, Mario RPG again, all of the classics. Uh, from the Super Nintendo. And as you scroll down, you can even see some of the NES stuff I have. Okay, so your apps are there. Now, the cool thing is here, uh, I like to come down here and um, switch it to posters. And the reason why I like posters is because this is what you're going to see in Steam when you're in the game mode on the Steam Deck. It's going to show you whatever posters here. So, say like Spider-Man and the X-Men, if I change that, which I'm going to, to this, this is what the game um, cover actually looked like. I'm gonna change this one too, cause that's Spider-Man from the original PlayStation, I believe. And if I decide to play a different version of that game, then I wanna make sure I can tell them apart easily. Then you have that as well. And then it's just a matter of saving um, the app list. Now remember, before you save the app list, Steam has to be closed. If Steam is not closed, then this will not work. Uh, it will kick back an error. And really, that's 
that's all of it. That's like the entire process um, for SNES 9X. There aren't any, there aren't very many really good guides out here. And the one guide that I did see, actually I should say three pieces of guides, um, didn't really give the whole story. So we're going to go ahead and we'll switch back over to game mode. All right, and we're back in game mode here, and basically we're just in game mode now just to test all this, because um, I know I know it works, but I want to show you guys that it works and show you guys just how cool this can be. So you're going to come back to game mode, go to libraries, and you're going to go to collections, and then you're going to find whatever you named your category to be. Uh, I named mine uh, SNES, or no, I named it Super Nintendo, excuse me. So we're just going to go ahead and we will turn on the Super Nintendo and then let's go ahead and we'll turn on Donkey Kong Country. And again, I'm just showing you guys that this guy works. We're not doing any extra elaborate extravagant testing on it. As it boots up, and there we go, we have Cranky. It is a bit pixelated on the bigger screen. It will of course look better on the Steam Deck on that smaller screen one player and I, I used to love this game as a kid like, this was my jam back in the days before analog sticks before um a lot of things actually in gaming and before wireless controllers oh man the banana horde's gone <laughs> oh man this actually i didn't end what's funny is i didn't even have a super nintendo as a kid i had a genesis so i would go over to my best friend's house and he had a super nintendo and I would go to his house and we would play Donkey Kong Country and Mario and F-Zero um, Street Fighter because his parents wouldn't let him have Mortal Kombat on top of the fact that, you know, the Mortal Kombat on Super Nintendo just wasn't as good as the one on Genesis. I was like Diddy Kong. Um, but yeah, so we would go to his house and we would play um, Donkey Kong and this was one of my favorite games uh, on the Super Nintendo. Now keep in mind, I haven't played this game in years. I don't remember how to do things like roll. Here we go. Um, y. I forget what, it's X on the actual Nintendo controller, but it's Y here. Because I'm on the Steam Deck. Yeah, no, this is great. It looks and runs just, just how I remember it, really. Ooh, ooh, I got off my Rhino. I didn't mean to do that. Let's jump with the rhino this time. And then we're gonna get our bonuses. Like, I remember this game as if it was yesterday. And I haven't played this game in years. I got a Super Nintendo eventually as an adult. Um, it didn't It didn't hit the same. Probably because, you know, at that point it was like a 20 year old console. Um, yeah, no. I actually am loving this experience. Like, on the deck. If I remember right, there's something up here to get. Oh, well, I'm going to take the rhino with me. This is just for testing purposes anyway. So, yeah. Donkey Kong Country. It works. Let's go ahead. We'll try another game. 
just to show you it's not a fluke. We will go to Super Mario All-Stars. This one, ooh, excellent hit B. That's the one, actually one of the major problems that Nintendo needs to fix. You swap the A and the B around and then you get used to hitting the other button. Nintendo and the shenanigans. So we're gonna go on Super Mario All-Stars. And again, we see it works. And we'll go ahead and we'll play a level through um, one of these guys. Probably just be the original Mario. I love the original Mario. Which is something I think always thought was weird. Like a lot of people don't have an appreciation for the same appreciation for this game that I do. But I've always loved, this was like my first game that I ever played as a kid. I took me about two, three months to beat it, but I did, and my mom was just like, wow, that's back when I could. Where she was going, she actually went back to school for nursing when I was a kid. And um, while she was in school, she needed something for me to do while she was studying, like doing homework and stuff. So she said, you know what, I'm gonna go get him a um, Super Nintendo, or I'm gonna go get him a game console. I'm gonna play games, because I used to play Donkey Kong at the laundromat. And um, when I was little, and so she was like, so she knew I liked the games, and it's been like I've been playing games for life ever since then. You know, I got my NES in 1986 for my third birthday, and ever since I've been hooked to gaming. So yeah, you see, that's the original level of um, Super Mario Brothers. I know this level at the back of my hand. Actually, I know, like, there's quite a few levels in this game I still remember, and I haven't played this game, I don't think, um, like, on a consistent basis since 1990. <laughs> so, here's that, like, in, in years, really. Um, so, there we go. So, there's a couple of games there. I love the Super Nintendo. I'm going to recommend that everybody plays um, the simulator. Gets this emulator set up right. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the Super Nintendo, and if you have the same um, nostalgia for it that I do, uh, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe and please share with a friend. We're trying to grow this channel out. I'm trying to hit 1,500 um, subs. That is my next sub goal. Um, also, if you want to see other Steam Deck related guides, let me know in the comments and I'll give it a gander. I'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks for watching.